Yes, so th they're a, a public document with this filed with the Structural Pest Control Board. Um, we actually have to pay fees for those, every report, every completion. So uh, yeah, that's something we do for sure. Are the reports accessible to the general public or how, let's say that I was interested in a home, would, would I be able to find out if there were termite reports done on the property or any past reports? Yeah, anyway, no, let's re, let's clarify that any wood destroying, <laughs> not termite reports. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, you would go to the Structural Pest Control Board website, and I believe I haven't done that in a long time myself. But you would query that property address. Uh, I think you might have to send a fee for that to that to be produced, but they would give you a history of that, maybe like five years or something to that effect. Um, of those, and it's it's not super quick. So in the real estate transaction scenario, yeah, it may take a little while. Yeah, I know. I, we, that's a this, we. I know we had this question come up not not long ago, and and uh, I, I I was shocked. I I I was under the impression that everything got got filed like right away, like it was automatic, like it was computerized. It was like you you don't even have to think about it; it gets uh, done. And that's and that's that's kind of the way I remembered it, but I guess I may I may have remembered it wrong. So it actually, so it's like every ten days we have to file for termite reports, and every 